2010 17-inch MacBook Pro Wi-Fi card replacement. Please note it's inside the LCD assembly. Start off by shutting down and flipping over your MacBook. Remove the cover that's fastened with 10 Phillips head screws. Remove the 7 Phillips head screws that are short first, starting in the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook. Now the 3 long Phillips head screws. Lift and remove the cover. Begin by disconnecting the battery first. LCD assembly removal. Disconnect the eyesight cable. Gently pry your screwdriver underneath and get a good grip on the cable. And just pull it to your left. There might be a small plastic safety clip connected to it. Go ahead and remove that. Remove two covers, one that's covering the Bluetooth and one that's covering the eyesight bracket. We'll be disconnecting the Bluetooth antenna first. Go ahead and pry underneath it with your screwdriver, gently popping it up and out of its socket. You can now disconnect the Bluetooth data cable. Now let's remove the two Phillips head screws that are holding in the eyesight camera bracket. Once those two screws are out of the way, we can go ahead and remove the bracket. Let's disconnect the LVDS cable next. Gently pry up on the latch lock. Now that it's unlocked, you can pull it back and it'll slide out of the socket. Now let's remove the two Phillips head screws that are holding in the LVDS bracket. The second screw you can unscrew but leave it in the bracket. This will be easier to track it. Remove the bracket. Go ahead now lift and open up the MacBook and hang it over the table ledge. Remove the three T6 screws that are holding in the left hinge. Remove the three T6 screws that are holding in the right hinge. You can now gently pry upwards and remove the LCD assembly. Wi-Fi card removal. Please note that in this example, the LCD assembly has no glass. Begin by removing the component cover by sliding it to the right and pulling it up from the middle. It should come right out. Now that the component cover is off, we have access to the Wi-Fi card. The Wi-Fi card is located right in the middle of the components. Let's go ahead and start off by removing the Wi-Fi cable guard. It's being screwed in with one Phillips head screw. Once 
once the screw is out you can disconnect the guard and the cable at the same time Let's go ahead and disconnect the two antenna cables. Now let's get underneath and disconnect the left Phillips head screw. Now let's disconnect the right Phillips head screw. Once those screws have been removed, the card should be free to lift up. Wi-Fi card reinstallation. Reinsert the Wi-Fi card. Antenna sockets to the left. Go ahead and connect and reinstall the left Phillips head screw. It's right underneath the antennas. Now let's reconnect the right Phillips head screw. Let's reconnect the Wi-Fi cable. You can use tweezers to help you push the cable in. Slide the guard over. This is a bit tricky and might take you a while to get the card positioned correctly. This has to do with the way the cable is laid in near the hinge. Once you correctly position the cable guard, go ahead and screw it in with its one Phillips head screw. This can be done much easier if the entire unit is laying down, but for the purpose of this video, I wanted to get a better angle. Reconnect the antennas. One is slightly shorter than the other. The shorter one goes in the bottom. The longer one goes in the top. Once you position it over the socket, apply pressure and it should click right in. Place the component cover back over the components. Having it a little slightly to the right helps. Make sure all the cables are tucked in and are not preventing the component cover from clicking in. Once it's clicked in, just slide it to the left. LCV assembly reinstallation. Go ahead and place the assembly in.
fasten the assembly with one metal T6 screw on each side. This will allow the LCD assembly to be aligned properly. Make sure that you're not jamming in the Bluetooth antenna cable. It's the blue cable. Go ahead and reinstall the four remaining T6 screws. Lift, flip, close the MacBook. Put it into position. Now let's reinstall the LVDS hinge. Make sure that the LVDS cable is underneath the hinge. Now secure it with two Phillips head screws. The one screw we left in the hinge and then the next screw that's part of the LVDS cable. Go ahead and reconnect the LVDS cable, gently sliding it into the socket. Be very careful when you're doing this as you can damage the socket. Go ahead and lock the LVDS cable. Do not touch any of the components with the screwdriver. Reinstall the EyeSight cable bracket. Place it in making sure that the EyeSight cable is underneath the bracket. Now secure it with two Phillips head screws. Make sure that the cable loop is looped through and secure onto the bracket. Make sure to loop through the Bluetooth antenna cable as well. Go ahead and reconnect the Bluetooth antenna by holding it over the socket and pressing it in. Now reconnect the Bluetooth data cable. Trace down and tuck in the EyeSight camera cable. You can now reconnect the EyeSight camera cable. Go ahead and gently slide it into the socket. Place the covers back on, one over the EyeSight cable, one over the Bluetooth, and one over the EyeSight cable bracket portion. You can now reconnect the battery. Gently slide it into the socket. Look down and get a better angle as you need to make sure that this goes in correctly. Place the cover back on. Reinstall the three long Phillips head screws first. Then reinstall the seven short Phillips head screws. No resets are needed, you're all done.